Oops, sorry guys. Alright, we're taking the black beast out. Probably should have done this during before the intro, but that's alright. So we're taking this out. Big black. Big 5'9 Durango. So, actually, we're gonna go. We're gonna go this way. It's about 1800 RPM, 1900. Sounds like a typical, typical Dodge, you know. I. If you've been my longtime subscribers or subscriber, I'll still be a Chevy boy no matter what. And ever since I was introduced to the Dodge Durangos, I've always been I've always been a fan of them. Uh, I don't like Dodge very much because I've never grew up around Dodges, and now I just. The only thing I love about from Dodge is the Durangos. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn this way. All right, here we go. I'm gonna give you. Like I said, like I said, these five nines, when you freaking open them up, they freaking move. They actually move. Of course, it's the five nines, a bigger cubic inch than my truck was. This thing's just a beast of an engine, man. I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I added that cold air intake, this, this thing just moves. And that's what I love about the 5.9 5 liters. Uh, don't get confused with the 5.9 Cummins. It's the same cubic inch, but it's a different engine design. Of course, it's a diesel. 5.9 Cummins is a diesel. It's also an inline six. And the 5.9 V8, you know, it's what I'm driving right now. So, Go ahead and turn down here. Ooh, a Camaro. It's a brand new Camaro. It's getting ready to follow me. This this Durango, when we got it, it um somebody smoked in it. And actually, that's one of the habits I'm trying to quit. Fortunately. So, speaking of the aero chambers, it's a chambered muffler, just like my Flowmasters were on my truck, on my 77. Except this has just a, it just has a growl to them. And especially with the being on a 5.9 liter V8, it's just, it's just a beast of an engine. I believe this Durango is a fully loaded, it has heated mirrors, as you can tell. The funny story is we almost got stuck in the mountains and we didn't realize that this Durango had a 5.9 liter and it just climbed the side of the mountain like it like it almost it wasn't even there. But it has lead leather seats. Oops. 
There's a D Max 6.6 liter. Hopefully, I'll have one of those one of these days after I finish my welding. Got a storm moving in, just coming up over the mountains. Speaking of the 5.9 comes, there's one that just passed me. So I'm getting ready to pull into park here. Guys, you guys have a good day.